wasn't real for sure how to do this, but I wanted a, a two inch trailer hitch pole on my uh, on my new mower. Uh, it came with, or there was a add on for a little bracket here to give you a, uh, to give you a, um, just a, a hole to hook up a, you know, a wagon or a trailer or whatever. Um, but I use, use, uh, use these, my mower anyway, to pull, um, to pull around, sorry, I can't think and talk at the same time apparently. Um, I use my mower to pull around my, uh, little five by eight utility trailer and a jet ski trailer and stuff. So I wanted to have the uh, two inch ball on there. And this is an old receiver hitch that I had from the Beamer that had the, uh, um, you know, the small, what is it, inch and a quarter piece. So I just, uh, actually there was a bolt back here in the frame that I used to bolt it. I was actually able to drill through this metal, uh, the steel, it actually drilled through pretty easily. Um, so I drilled through uh, for the back hole because there's the, the hole on the side they usually have for the pin. Um, so I drilled through the back, mounted it to that factory uh, bolt hole, um, used one of the locking washers on it so it won't come off, but I can still get it, I don't have to get it super tight so I can rotate it out of the way. Um, but this lets me use, lets me use um, the regular hole for like a wagon, um, get this out of the way, or I just put it, uh, put it back in there, line it up, and I've got uh, two washers, so I can do this with one hand. Two washers, <laughs> try and do this with one hand. Washer on top, and then put the pin. And I drilled the hole um, just just so that it's nice and tight, and there's no no play in this. So it'll hold uh, it'll hold the, the weight of me standing on it. So it should be good for any little trailers that I pull around. But I thought that was kind of cool, so it worked out. Thought I'd share.